When mounting the battery, make sure to keep enough clearance according to the battery manual. It's important to follow manufacturer instructions for proper installation. In order to connect the battery to the storage interface or storage inverter, three types of cables are required. For charging and discharging the battery, we need a regular PV cable. A 4 to 6 square millimeter cable is recommended. A grounding cable according to battery manufacturer manual guidelines. Communication is done with a twisted pair cable. A 600 volt rated CAT5 or 6 cable is recommended. First, we connect the DC wires to the battery terminals. When pulling the cables, make sure to mark plus and minus. Connect the other end of the grounding wire according to battery manufacturer manual. To connect the DC wires to the storage interface, crimp MC4 connectors to the end of the wires. Make sure to crimp with the correct polarity. Connection to the storage inverter is similar. The input connectors on the inverter are labeled BAT. Next up is the connection of the communication cable. Four wires need to be connected to the battery. Ground, Enable, RS485 High and RS485 Low. It is mandatory to put the RS485 High and Low connections on one twisted pair. The latest wiring information can be found in the storage wiring guide. Now connect the wires from the battery to the interface. Enable connects to Enable. RS485 High connects to A+, RS485 Low connects to B-, and Battery Ground connects to Thermal- minus or RS485 Ground. Note that in Interface S1, the Battery Ground connects to Thermal-. Minus. When installing a storage inverter, the battery connects directly to the inverter. Now it's time to put the covers back on. In the next clip, we cover system configuration and commissioning.